Hey, it's Nellie. Welcome back to Lucas Maker Homestead. Today is chicken processing day. So we have around 20 meat chickens that we're gonna process. What is different this time about how we are processing meat chickens is we were fortunate enough to have some friends that had a chicken plucker and they are gonna let us bar it. Every time that we've had meat chickens prior to this time, we have plucked them by hand, which is very tedious and it it just takes a whole lot longer so i'm really excited to see um how much faster this works um and if it's going to be worth us investing in a plucker ourselves i'm not going to show you the whole process of us um processing meat chickens because there are a ton of videos of that online i just kind of want to show you what we're doing today and then you know go through the experience of hand plucking versus using a chicken plucker this is the chicken plucker that we borrowed. I am not sure on the brand. It's not one that like a hose attaches to it. It's one that you have the hose and just kind of keep it, you know, going as you've got a chicken in here. Um, I don't see anything. If you know the kind of brand, let me know because if we do end up liking this, we'll probably end up buying one um, at some point. But, at least for now, we have some friends that will let us borrow this. Um, and it's a pretty, pretty simple design, but much more, um, it's a lot better than us doing this by hand. After your water's at 150 degrees, you're going to dump your chicken for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then you're going to add them to the plucker or you can hand plug at that point. While the plucker is a much faster process, we do have a lot of experience hand plucking and it is not for the faint of heart. Even after our third year of processing chickens, somehow I still can't seem to get it down packed. Um, so I do ask my husband every year for little bits of reminders and he is very patient with me as a kind of relearn how to do this process as I've forgotten over the year and we especially after this year I feel much better about doing it hopefully next year I can kind of remember. I'm interrupting this video to let you know how that day went because that is all the footage that I have of that day. What happened was we were processing chickens and the day did, didn't start off how we wanted it to anyways um we had our propane tank and something went wrong with the regulator and so we had to run back to town to go you know swap out the propane tank came back home got started started shooting a little bit of footage and then we get four chickens into this into processing and we have right up like 17 18 cl close to 20 chickens to process and it started pouring rain as we're going through this and we're already frustrated because it was super hot that day nothing's going how we want it to and now it's pouring rain like could it get any worse so we decide, you know, we have plucked this chicken in, in the plucker, which was great, phenomenal, 100% would love to have one of our own, super grateful that we were able to borrow one and they agreed to let us borrow it in the future um, until we have our own, which is super gracious. Well, came inside, tried to wait out the rain stopped raining went back outside and got through some more chickens and as as we were processing more chickens the entire sky went black and I looked up the trees were swaying I was like this was insane like we had checked the weather you know it, it called for like a light thunderstorm so we thought we had already gone through it well, 
we have, I don't know, two chickens at this point that were, um, that had been plucked and we're like, okay, you know, get ready to, you know, do the rest of the processing on this chicken before we throw it in the cooler. And it starts pouring. Like, not like a, like, oh, it's a little drizzle. No, it came a flood on us. We've got all this equipment out there. You know, we're standing there with two half processed chickens. Or, and my husband's like, get inside. We've got to get inside. Uh, so we're trying to grab everything that we can, including these two half processed chickens. And we're right inside. We got inside. And it's one of those when you get in, it you're soaking wet. Like you had just came out of a pool. You know, just kind of soaking wet. <laughs> and we're we're not happy about this day anymore. I was looking forward to it. I really wanted to, you know, have a nice day with my husband, get these chickens processed at a decent time and nothing went our way. It was terrible. He'll tell you it's terrible. It's nothing like what we wanted our day to be. You know, we wanted to have a, you know, a decent dinner together enjoy a movie and go oh, man like look at all that hard work we did today and go to sleep well get inside we had to get out two chickens in our kitchen so it wouldn't get a waste and we were in the process of you know looking back up the weather and the power goes out and the power did not come on back until 10 o'clock that night. So not only were we then not done processing chickens, we had probably six, six or more left to do. We had no power. It was pouring rain and we, <laughs> we had no way to wash our hands or after processing these chickens. Or right, so my husband, a, a clever idea it gets like rubbing alcohol and what we do is we like drench ourselves and our hands in rubbing alcohol just so we're not covered in chicken mess y'all I was looking forward to this day it was our first time without hand plucking and it was absolutely horrendous the only thing that was great about the day is that we didn't have to hand pluck because if we did have to hand plug it, we probably wouldn't have finished two. And that's the truth. And you get two people in a situation that are very frustrated about their day. So, of course, you know, there's some, you know, bickering going on. Nothing, you know, crazy. Or, but still, you know, we're frustrated just entirely about the day. And we had to wake up the next morning. Didn't want to get out there and do these chickens, but our power was finally back on. We finished out these chickens and we let everything sit in the cooler, you know, for 24 hours on ice. And we spent a whole nother day that we were not planning to, um, chickens, you know, pieced out. Uh, when we were hoping to do it the day we were hoping to do it the day prior so did it go as planned no super grateful that it's done I'm currently um, pressure canning some chicken broth um, because after we pieced everything out yesterday um, it's now time for me to work on broth um, so I'm pressure canning the broth um, and I'll be doing that for some days or I'll just keep the rest of everything frozen and just make some broth as I need to. Um, yep. Time for me to put my weight on the pressure here. And yeah, um, that took us you know, some, some getting through, but you know, 
a day's work turned into three days um, or two days really and then you know a day of actually processing like cutting and piecing everything out and get it ready for the freezer and it was just you know what one of those days that you're looking forward to and I think this is the biggest disappointment like you're looking forward to this and you're looking forward to that day and then when nothing goes as planned it's is awful it just makes everything that much worse nothing went as planned um i can say i will you know be looking at um pressure uh, not pressure grain i'm looking at the pressure can <laughs> i will be looking into uh pluckers in the future because it was far superior to um hand plucking and it honestly makes me say like no, i will never honey. hand pluck a chicken again like that is a whole nother league like being able to use that like you could get so many chickens done in one day it's insane like crazy um so highly recommend getting one um as we also are on the search for um an affordable chicken plucker Not everything's ever, not everything will always go your way. It definitely did not go our way. Um, and that's just a fact of life. Um, we made it through. I'm glad that this, you know, weekend is over with as far as the chickens go. I'm glad to where we are at the tail end of this. And now we are just, you know, in the making broth, pressure canning that stage. And, you know, Yes, I will 100% want to do meat chickens again. Um, maybe I'll be a little bit more mindful of what the weather could bring. Um, or plan like, hey, if something goes wrong, you know, give us that extra day. Because uh, if my husband had had to go to work the next day, it would have been up to me to process the entire remainder of those chickens by myself. Um, which I 100% I could do. It's just way less enjoyable you know when you're doing it 100% by yourself which luckily I've never had to do uh, but it's not super enjoyable when you even have a group of people to do it especially depending on the amount of chickens that you have to do uh, but you can only imagine doing it 100% by yourself would be somewhat miserable anyways this is the other addition <laughs> to uh, this vlog today I just wanted to be able to put this video out there and let you know like yes like we did get them processed um, but it was not um, an easy process as far as um, mother nature had planned for us y'all have a wonderful day happy homesteading <laughs>